Hey guys, welcome to another video. We are back in the forest in my village I call Turtle Village. And in fact, you can find out more about this on my channel. There'll be links at the end of this video and down in the description where I've given tours talking about what I've built here. But a recent addition is the mansion. You can see this two story structure here. I haven't put a slanting roof on it because I find they're a bit messy and I don't really like the way they look at this stage. And one of the reasons why I built the mansion was to really have a look at what options there are with furniture and decorations. Try and utilize it. I've got a pub over that way which there's quite a few chairs in but there's other options. So what I'm going to do today in this video is talk through the furniture that I have in the mansion. Hopefully just give you a few ideas to show you what you can do with these options in game and potentially talk about what I would like to see in the forest in the future. Um, hopefully there will be some new furniture coming up which would be nice although the game is quite old I know they're working on Sun of the Forest so that is probably a priority for them at the moment but let's have a look at what furniture we have here. So this is the sitting room if you like. You've got the um, well I guess the sofa we'll have a look at these in the book as well so if we go to furniture here it's the couch now this takes seven deer hide which makes it probably the most laborious piece of furniture to make you can of course sit on all of these but it does look very cool you can have Obviously, it's designed for two people. Now, talking of deer hide, I also use them, use them for curtains. Now, and you can just place deer hide on any surface. I tend to not do it on the floors because they tend to clip. And it doesn't look great. But I was playing around with how they look as curtains, and I think it looks okay. That is one of the items that would be quite nice in-game. Some kind of blind or curtain uh, or shutter. That would be a really nice addition. Then we've got the bone chairs. You can see here bone chair, 31 bones. Early on, obviously, that's going to be trickier. But um, seeing we're advanced stages beyond 200 days in this, this version, I've got lots of bones lying around, killed lots of cannibals, and I get a lot coming in. So I like to put a few bone chairs. They've got a nice design. I like the kind of the headrest bit at the top there. Pretty nice. And then you've got the wooden chair. Now this is easier to make in a sense because it's largely sticks but it still does need deer hide and you can see that one previously here. 30 sticks and 2 deer hide. Now I quite like the way that looks. I love the way, in fact, you know, I like the way these all look. They look convincing as if I personally would have made these in a forest where I was stranded because they don't look expert they don't look totally crafted they look like they're sticks and logs bound together so a very realistic look as we go around you'll see I use a lot of the skull lamps one of my favorite items in game very handy indeed now over here I have put a weapon rack re weapon holder next to the fireplace to give it a little bit of character that potentially you could put something there to tend to the fire and then we have the big fireplace. Now this does take a lot of stone. 68 to be precise. So it takes a little bit of a while. But because stone probably the most numerous item in game. It's not too bad. I quite like adding these in. You've got to be a little bit careful about how you put them in. Because they can clip beyond the wooden walls. The uh, log walls there. So you don't want it sticking out of the back. It looks pretty scrappy. But this one's okay. And I put a fireplace in the middle. Which is fine. You can you can light that there, just like so. Very cosy. Throwing out light in your nice sitting room area there. Nothing better than to kick back after a hard day killing cannibals. So we've got a table over here. Now this is the larger table. Let me just find that. That is yeah. That that's that the table here. Okay, five logs. So that goes up pretty quickly. And then I've put down a bone basket 
here to add a bit of decoration and you can sit those on top of the tables which is quite handy and they look the part maybe you're keeping fruit in there or something on those some sort of supplies if we're talking about making it more kind of role play you can imagine that might be useful to store things you can just store anything in there really they need a skull basket as well I think that's something they need to add into the game. more chairs another table some lamps now I have put these in because I quite like the way they look they're more utility type um, items they are for holding um, explosives uh, let's find these here weapon rack and explosives holder the explosive holders it almost looks like a chair doesn't it so I quite like that I put some on there so that kind of destroys the illusion but I I think they they're okay you may come in here after a hard day out there killing mutants and you put your weapon down here head over to the fireplace kick back over there and uh, on this side it's kind of more of a kitchen type area we've got the table basket and then we've got the arrow basket as well over there these take quite a few sticks to build they're a bit of a pain but again if you've just spawned in there'll be lots of sticks near you arrow basket and bone basket and put those in there another bone chair and on the wall we've got a um, bone pitcher this is some of the first decorations that we'll be looking at here you've got let me get, where is it the bone frame it's called and a, a rabbit skin appears in the middle you can imagine drawing using charcoal drawing something on there maybe some shapes or a landscape very nice and then lighting we've got these standing lamps but I've also put in the hanging lamp here I think that's quite cool the way they've got the candles in the eye sockets very spooky I like that and uh, of course we're hardened to all these skulls and bones and whatnot because we've been living on this island for so long in the forest and then sort of give it a bit of a kitchen feel over this side I have got a food shelf unit so a kind of a shelving unit that I've used for flowers um, this is the energy mix on these ones here the healing one doesn't seem to want to you can't put it onto these shelves and if we find it along here these are actually quite expensive so that is eight logs to build that so that's a bit of a pain but it's good we need stuff like that just a general shelf would be quite a handy thing to have that you could put against the wall and so you've just come in from a hard day and oh I just need to drink some water here hang on oh that is empty let's have some let's have one of those okay so you just come in from a hard day and you put you may have salvaged a cannibal um, hammer here you put it on the wall and you can sit down take your shoes off on these benches here very easy very nice a, co a cozy environment hopefully let's go into the hallway I'm trying to cover up some of the walls here with some of the skins to get it more of a kind of a welcoming feel and they've got a couple of trophies the shark head and the deer head over this way as well as the uh, little turtle head there and an area where you can put all the stuff you picked up on your missions, you can come in and put it down here. You, more of these shelving units, and um, we've got me, we've got uh, meds and uh, alcohol and some cola there. This is this smaller um, unit, which costs seven logs. It just has a different look, and it's nice to have some different designs. I like that. That looks good. You go back through, and then that door leads back into the sitting room here with that lovely fire burning over that way if we go back through here you have got some stairs now I've cut out a hole in the floor using the cutting tool on in the book which is actually a little bit unpredictable the hole cutter you can see here unfortunately it's given me this weird little section here it's a bit of a shame it's a little bit unpredictable but hopefully to draw your eye, put the chandelier above it, all the skulls hanging there. 
pretty grim. Be nice to have some different lighting that didn't, even, you know, that was uh, more torch based. We've got another skull hang here and a, and, a, and a table, almost as if someone is waiting up here, just maybe I don't know, having a fag or something like that, sitting there while everybody else is in here. I'm going to add some more bone chairs instead, but this is going to be like a, a relaxing area. We've got the smaller table here little side table with some more bone chairs and some bone frames around these here. So we just come in here, we've got two bedrooms up in this section. We've got some beds in here. You can see these here, you lay out some rabbit fur on a wooden frame. It doesn't look particularly comfortable, but you know, I guess after a hard day out killing cannibals, it probably is quite welcoming curl up there you need some rope to make these and four rabbit hides which is pretty clear to see again they could probably come up with a better design for that and then if we head over to bedroom number two we have another one here with a light and again not much else going on let's go back downstairs and have a little talk about what we feel the offer is with this furniture and the forest and um, have another quick look at the book here let's just take a seat here right okay so in the book oh, you can't look at it while you're sitting down let's get it out there so if we go through the furniture here you've got four we've looked at all of those and a small side table there as well I've seen those um, we've got the deer skins and the ra rabbit skin up on the wall, the lights, the standing lamp, the ceiling skull. We've got the decoration. We've got. I haven't put the decorative skulls in this one. I just feel they're even grimmer, so I tend not to put those around in the house. We've got the weapon display. The wall plant is over in my farm, so I haven't put that up here. And we've got the stick frame, which is similar to the bone frame. I haven't really put any birdhouse because it's part of the traps, really. And you see, that's it. And I've kind of utilized most all of that into this build with an additional few things like the, um, I mean, you have got some fires here. These, All these fires, this standing fire, very much seems like an outdoorsy type thing. It'd be nice to have something that was indoors that involved like a lamp. Now, that gives you a good idea of what you can put in your house in the forest. And I think this area here really is the most successful. They need more bedroom furniture, more uh, things like rugs. They, they, well, that would be great to have a rug. And maybe some hanging tapestries or wall drapes. That would really give a nice feel to these locations. One of the great things is the way the lighting works in these games and the way the, the ambience is built by having those lights. And you can really feel it as you're wandering around. So it'd be great to have some of that. I'm thinking also that maybe something like a chest would look really cool. Uh, shelves I've mentioned already. And just something that make it a bit more homely. Because I think once you've played the forest for a while, you realize how quickly you can put up a settlement, a building. And I like that about this game, and the fact that the build is quick. And it, it's quite satisfying. Maybe a shoe rack would be good. Or a way of displaying clothing. Now we do have a armor rack, but I'm thinking maybe we need a, a more kind of homely way of doing that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the mansion. Hope you like seeing what the possibilities are for furniture and decorations in this game. If you've got any questions, add them down below. And if there's anything that, um, you think I've missed tell me as well that would be great I'm always looking for other people's tips and learning from other people is an awesome thing so guys if you found this useful click the thumbs up if you haven't subbed already be awesome if you could there's more content coming to the channel very soon thanks for watching